Hi guys and welcome back to Anna Dialogue. Today we're going to take a look again to cassettes, to a different type of cassettes though. Um, actually very high quality cassettes but that usually are um, overlooked. We, we, we don't, sometimes we, we're not even aware of their existence. Want to know what I'm talking about? Coming up. Let's take a look guys. Okay, so today we're going to talk about these. Yes, demo cassettes. What are demo cassettes? Well, it's very simple actually. These tapes were used mainly in the 80s and the 90s, very rarely in the 70s, um, for promotional interest, for um, purposes, in order to demonstrate, to show, to propose your your band your um your music to other people usually um uh, record labels but not only i mean even people who just wanted to um uh sing or um play live in specific clubs or things like that they would send out something like this just to give an idea of their sound etc so there are a lot of reasons why people back in the days created these and sent them out and the quality is amazing. I'm gonna talk about this more in depth when we're gonna take a look at the four main types of these cassettes. Ready to take a look? Let's dive in. Okay, so um, as we said, we have four main types of demo tapes, whatever that means. I mean, uh, when you say demo, there are a lot of concepts in there, a lot of types of cassettes and projects behind there. But I think we can regroup them in four main types, which I'll, I will explain down the road. So let's start with the basic type, the classic type. Just a simple cassette that someone um, uh, used to record his demo of his band. All, all the, the cassettes you're going to see are, uh, are jazz, but obviously there are lots and lots of types. Uh, there's tons of metal. Uh, heavy metal, hard rock and heavy metal uh, and metal cassettes, meaning heavy metal music cassettes, demos. You're going to find tons of that. Jazz is rare, but jazz is it's higher quality. So I suggest if you like jazz to, to hunt down for these or even rock, pop, etc. But the jazz ones are top notch. So as you can see, for example, here we have a trio. Normal cassette, nothing special. We can we can go ahead here. As you can see, just a small little demo of uh, another little band. I'm just going to show you around what I found online. The cool part, as you can start to see here, is that a lot of these demos are recorded on very high quality cassettes. Now this is an SA uh, t from TDK uh, Type 2 cassette. <clears throat> And the quality obviously is excellent because these were going out to producers or simply to um, someone that would hosted a, a group uh, of, of jazz musicians, etc. Not only for a, a recording label. I mean, you have to imagine different types. So there are a lot of these. And they recorded practically their own cassettes with their own gear around the, we're talking about the 80s and 90s mainly, very rarely the 70s. We were, we were still using the reel-to-reel -reel cassettes in, the, in those days. So, um, these instead are very popular to promote your own, uh, your own work, especially during the 80s. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you have to expect an 80s sound in all of these, absolutely. So let's go ahead. Another excellent tape by Maxell. And uh, the cool part, is I, I have found, found all of these on eBay. And the cool thing is that um, if you check, most of the ones I'm gonna show you are people that are in the industry today. I mean, they're recording today their albums. Um, you can find like, um, I think this Mark Evan Gross is a musician today and has published a number of albums. I mean, these people um, are, are true artists that, uh, did publish a series of the of, of, of work of their works of their projects, but.
but in some cases, some did not get published. So you may find unpublished material on these, on these demos, which is another fascinating part, I think, of, uh, uh, of this type of product, of this type of cassette. And again, I want to remark how good these sound. I mean, the, the, you're going you're gonna to listen to them a few afterwards. But these cassettes, oh baby, they're really, really good. Uh, sometimes they're recorded directly with the instruments, and then obviously they make a dub from that in order to, to maintain their master tape. But this is a direct copy of that. And obviously they, they dub it uh, with a slow um, dubbing process. That's, that's what's killing sound in, in the pre-recorded industry. Um, so as you can see, the, these are just the standard types, as you can, as you can see here, the standard type of tape, which I, I, I suggest calling type one of the demos, where you can find a little bit of, uh, of um, typewriting machine, or just simply handwritten. But as you can see, even in this case, high quality cassettes are going around. <clears throat> here again, it's, it's always handwritten, as you can see. This is, this is a very nice, we're gonna listen to it after. I think this should be published actually, it's so good. <clears throat> again, another Maxwell, fantastic cassette, high quality. These people were, I mean, they were very um, proud of their of their work, and they were and they, they were sending it around. So they wanted to have top notch quality, and reel to reel tapes weren't in the weren't being used that much in that in those days. And this was much easy also to distribute. Obviously, the the evolution of this were the CDs in the '90s and in the 2000s, and and I would st stay still today. A lot of people, or well, obviously, a lot of people are just sending files around. But if you need a hard copy, you're going to use a CD. And back in the days, this was the best medium because it was easy. And the quality was good if you were using a, a high quality professional tape deck recorder. Remember, remember our topics. Here's a link to a video where you can get more info on this. And um, obviously, a good quality tape. And not to be mentioned, a good quality recording. So let's pass to our second type where um, we find. Uh, a little a little more professional presentation where we have you can clearly see this is homemade or at least made uh, not by um, a, 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 the industry not by a, a record co recording label or anything but they're using a, a sticker here a label where they input some indications a lot of people see put their own phone here and you have it's very simple nothing special but it's a little more professional see you have the copyright you have the year just three songs as you can see it's a type 2 cassette high quality and this can go i would say in this second category where we have labels mainly <clears throat> this is another example you're going to find a lot of demos with this cassette structure i don't know why I must admit that I don't know why, but there's a lot of them, and I must also admit that these are these are excellent Type Two cassettes. This is a lot of tape, <clears throat> and usually, in most cases, just um, face one, side one was recorded because obviously it's just a demo to show the, the, the let people understand your own sound and what type of instruments you're using, etc. And as I was saying, a lot of these people, guys. Are still publishing and uh, are still issuing uh, albums, making music, maybe in the uh, in the movie industry, not only as records. I think this is a really cool section. 1992, see, also the 90s. A cool section where you can you can find high quality material, but um, past albums or um, parts of albums. That are completely gone and that you cannot find elsewhere so you have high quality and original material in most cases and usually they go for good prices i mean if you hunt them down and they're not very famous artists you will have um uh, you will find them at a decent price see here you would put all your contacts to get back and <laughs> to get back um uh, to inform who you were sending your demo how to find you 
as you can see here, we, this is a chrome tape, as the other ones, this strange structure. Maybe someone, some of you guys can help me telling me why so many demos are recorded on this type of structure. And you can see <clears throat> we have a 70 microsecond equalization. So we're talking about high quality, guys. Absolutely. Last one, but I think you got the concept again, this type. Okay, so let's proceed now to type 3. Type 3... We have, again, a little more jump in quality. Someone uh, took some time to design somehow uh, a cover to do a little bit of graphics, possibly printed out the, uh, the information on the cassette in a professional way. So it's almost an album. But you can still have that feeling that it's something amateur, that it's not professional. I mean, something that you made... Uh, with um, with some kind of professional service, but you made it by yourself. Here you can, in fact, you can see the contacts, the, t the telephone number of the, of, the of the group. But again, very high quality. Um, you're going to find a lot of this type for the, for the metal, heavy metal. In this case, uh, see there's a little information inside. <laughs> It, they're little treasures. I mean, you can find stuff inside, notes and documents. This is a type 1. A lot of these, I don't know why, are type 1 are not type 2. Maybe they cost much at that point. And I also think these are a little later. Of the 90s, maybe. Catalyst. Right, very nice. We found one of these, I think, in the other section. I don't know. We'll check that. Nice. I mean, a decent presentation. Nothing special. This is also very nice. This is, I would say, practically ready to, to, to be um, published, absolutely. High bias, as you can see, chrome cassette, only one side. But it's a demo. It looks like an album, but it's not. It's a demo. Last but not least, we have actually a different type of demo cassettes. In our fourth position, our fourth type, we have... I would call more than not a true demo, where it is a demo, but it's more of a promotional type of copies. <clears throat> because, in fact, these, for example, I, I found a few cassettes by this recording label, Antilles, are promoting an album that is going to be published, certainly. So these are just for promotion for people in the business. It's not the artist sending out a cassette to someone. This is the recording label sending out the cassette to someone. So um, we're already at a, at a further step. But again, these are not to be sold. I mean, these, <clears throat> you cannot sell these. See, not for sale, promotional copy. I think. So that, that's the concept behind these. And obviously the quality is pretty good. I think the other types are even better because obviously the people choose the best of the best. They record it in the best way possible. These are are already copy, copies and probably high-speed dubbed. All from the 90s, these things, but pretty nice. I also managed to find, I was lucky enough, um, a few albums, always promotional copies from Verve. Ooh, very good. This album by Joe Henderson. Wow, it's fantastic. And this, I'm pretty sure, was then published. So this is a promotional copy, again, not for sale, that was sent out to people in the business or, I don't know, some, um, maybe a, a festival, a, a, I don't know. I mean, there's so many reasons why these could go around. And if you get your little mittens on them through eBay or other sources, you will find great material. Johnny Griffin, Chicago, New York, Paris. Again, promotional use, copy only. And all of these are type one, nothing special. But the quality is it's decent. The quality is decent. So these, more or less, are the four types. Okay, so now that we've explored the four main types, let's try to listen to a few of these and try to understand what kind of sound. I'm just going to capture it live with the microphone because I, I, I've seen that the quality is decent and you can get a good idea. Hopefully, these are not copyrighted because they're demos. I mean, it's something, om, 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 practically everything of this has never been published. So, um, YouTube hopefully is not going to cut them off or 
uh, create some uh, copyright issues. Let's see. If I do, obviously, I'm going to have to cut them down. But let's try. Okay. So we're going to start to listen to type one. Here we have Rob Arthur and Rudy Gay, Endless Pleasure. Oh, boy. As you can see, very high quality cassette, Chrome 2. Let's go for it. Easy Nights, 80s sound. think you got the message there <clears throat> so as you can see very simple music as I said we're gonna listen j to jazz but there are <clears throat> lots and lots of team demos out there there are also famous demos or, or promotional copies of very famous people artists etc and those are gonna co a lot, cost a lot let's try to listen to this one class act Claire Wiley and Ted Trapp this is just the TDK Type 1 cassette, nothing special. Live recording. Maybe one of their concerts? Who knows? at the pine cone. This is just to give you an idea what you can find if you're looking for jazz. And as I said, <coughs> jazz are usually one of the best because they're few instruments and they're recorded very well. This is a, um, a demo by John Beasley. Very nice cassette. Very 80s. So this was type one. Let's proceed. Let's take a look at type two. Um, as I said, these are not ty cassette types if you're just roaming around the video. I just divided the different demo tapes in four categories. So we could maybe call it category, but... Okay, so this is Cali Cardamon, 1992. This is already registered because it says Little Italian Music, so Italy Music, so maybe, mm, maybe I'm not going to play this for too long. Vocal, almost pop. I just grabbed these. Okay, let's see another type two. Again, we have this uh, almost a standard in um, promotional copies, type two cassettes, 70 microsecond equalization, Dolby B. Neil Eli, let's listen to Neil Eli. Nineteen eighty-eight, recorded and mixed October twenty-fifth, twenty-sixth, at the Falcon Recording Studios, Portland, Oregon. So this was kind of professionally recorded. There's also the name of the engineer, Brian Bell, and Dennis Carter. Thank you. 
very low recording. Okay, that was a nice example, kind of strange. I'm just going to give you a little, a few, a few seconds to understand what we're talking about. Okay, let's jump in in type three now, a little more professional presentation, practically almost an album, although is uh, handmade or, I mean, own produced. So now we're going to take a look at Catalyst. Um, do we have a year? No, 1989. Now we're back in type one. I don't know, for me, it's almost like a time machine. I mean, knowing that these um, a lot of effort would put in recording these and distributing these and promoting promoting these, trying to find your way in the record industry. Um, and as I said, a lot of these are not published. So I don't know, it's almost like a little jewel coming directly from the 80s. So one last example from type um, uh, three, project, the, the, the project learner or learner. Can assure you some are very good some are a little I'm talking about the 80s okay one last example now Coming from our fourth type, the um, promotional demos. Um, in particular, this Joe Henderson, which is, I mean, one of the great um, jazz artists of the past century. And this is again a type one. Double rainbow. Ooh, good personnel. Well, these are the four types. Um, you guys, please, um, if you have uh, some some promotional or demos, interesting stuff, why not exchange them? I mean, if if they're not. If, if these are not published, I mean, we could do copies if you're interested. I think we can do that. No problem with that. Um, if you find some sources where we can find these, please write them down in the comments. I'm, as you know, I'm interested and I like to discover these things along with you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Remember to subscribe if you like these um, uh, videos. Just click the notification bell so you know when the videos are published. Obviously, it's all free. Um, if, if someone has any doubt on that and share it more they share the more we grow thank you guys again bye